Hey guys, Crypto Snake here, and in today's video, I'll be unboxing, reviewing, and setting up one of the most popular hardware wallets out there, the Trezor Safe 5. I'll guide you step by step on how to use this wallet so that by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to receive and send your crypto securely. Let's jump right in. Trezor wallets are probably the most trusted and secure hardware wallets in the world. Launched in 2014, Trezor has been around for over a decade without any security issues or hacks, solidifying its reputation for reliability. The Trezor Safe 5 is equipped with an EAL6 Plus chip, adding an exceptional layer of security. EAL6 Plus is one of the highest security certifications for IT systems under the common criteria framework. This certification ensures the device is highly resistant to sophisticated attacks, making it it ideal for critical applications like military systems, secure payment cards, and cryptographic modules. Trezor Safe 5 supports more than 9000 coins, including all the major L1s. This wallet features a 1.54 inch touchscreen, which is protected by scratch resistant Gorilla Glass. A cool addition to the Safe 5 is the new vibration feature. The rest of the design follows Trezor's conservative approach no Bluetooth, no batteries, and no unnecessary features. Trezor continues to prioritize security by eliminating potential vulnerabilities. When reviewing Trezor wallets, it's important to highlight that Trezor is fully open source. Both the firmware and hardware repositories are publicly available, meaning the crypto community can audit and verify the security of the underlying code. This transparency ensures that there are no hidden vulnerabilities or backdoors. The Trezor Safe 5 is currently priced at $169. When ordering a Trezor wallet, make sure to buy directly from the official Trezor website. Use my referral link in the description when purchasing Trezor wallet so you will get the best price currently available and I will receive a small commission from each sale. Now let's get started with unboxing. Once you receive your wallet, check the box to ensure it's sealed and hasn't been tampered with. If everything looks good, remove the security seal and open the box. Inside you'll find the wallet along with everything you need to get started. A quick start guide, Trezor stickers, and two recovery seed cards, 20 words each. The wallet comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable. C5 has a screen protector and a Trezor holographic security tape. Remove the screen protector and peel off the tape. You are ready for setup. Connect your Trezor C5 to your computer. You'll see a message on the screen. Get started with the Trezor at trezor.io slash start. The first step is to download Trezor Suite from the official website. Trezor Suite works on Windows, Mac and Linux. And there is also a view-only mobile app. You can even use the web-only version in your web browser. Once you've installed Trezor Suite, open it up. The first thing you'll do is verify your device's security. Trezor will ask you to confirm that you bought it from the official Trezor store, that the hologram and package were intact, and that the device wasn't tampered with. If everything checks out, click Set up my Trezor. Next, install the firmware. Since your Trezor was shipped without firmware, click Install firmware to install the latest version. Now verify the hardware chip. Trezor will prompt you to confirm that the chip inside your wallet is genuine. Simply tap the start button on Trezor Suite, then swipe up and tap to confirm on your device. After confirming, you will see a congratulatory message. Click continue. Trezor will now guide you through a short tutorial on how to use your device. Follow the instructions on your wallet screen. Once you've completed the tutorial, hold the green button to exit. You're now ready to set up your wallet. In Trezor Suite, click Continue. Choose whether you want to create a new wallet or recover a wallet using a seed phrase. I'm creating a new wallet in this tutorial. Next, select your backup type. The default option is single share backup, but I will show you the multi share backup, which is used by billionaires. This option generates multiple 20 word shares. Once you choose your backup type, click Create Wallet. You will then need to agree to Trezor's terms and conditions, which essentially means you're acknowledging that you are responsible for your seed phrase and coins. To confirm, swipe up and hold the green button. You should see a wallet created message. Swipe up to continue. Next on the Trezor suite, click the continue to backup button. 
Trezor will make sure you understand what a backup is and how it works. Remember, your wallet's backup is essential for recovering your funds in case your device is lost or damaged. Do not take pictures of your backup or store it digitally. Store your backup in a secure location and never share it with anyone. After confirming your understanding, click Create Wallet Backup. Since I chose multi-share backup, I'll be prompted to write down the words for each share. Your Trezor will display each word in order. Swipe up to continue. The next step is to set the number of shares. To keep things simple, I'll choose two backup shares. Choose how many backup shares you want to create and then swipe up to continue. Next, set the threshold. In this step, you'll choose the minimum number of shares required to recover your wallet. For example, if you have four shares, you might decide that only three are needed to recover your wallet. In my case, I'll keep it set to two, which matches the number of shares I have. Now we are at the most important step, writing down the words for all shares one by one. Make sure you are in a safe place where no one can see your words. Grab a pen and paper. I'll be using the two recovery sheets that came with my package. First, your Trezor device will display each word for your first share. Write them down in the exact order they appear. Once you've finished with the first share, swipe up and hold the green button to confirm you've written down all 20 words in the correct order. Trezor will then do a quick check. Swipe up and you'll need to confirm a few words in a quick quiz. After passing the quiz, you'll repeat the same process for share 2. Swipe up, write the next 20 words, complete the quiz and then swipe up to continue. Congratulations, you've successfully backed up your wallet. Just remember to store your backup words securely so no one else has access to them. For enhanced security, you may want to store your seed phrase on a titanium plate instead of paper. I recommend Stamp Seed, the leading company in this niche. Use my discount code CRYPTOSNAKE for 15% off all Stamp Seed products. Check out the link in the description. The next step is to set up a PIN for your Trezor. In Trezor Suite, click Continue to PIN and then Set PIN. On your Trezor device, swipe up to confirm PIN protection. Enter your PIN, click the green check button and confirm your PIN. Now PIN protection is activated. Next, choose the coins you want to use and click Complete Setup. Once your setup is complete, you will see the Setup Complete message. You can give your Trezor Say 5 a unique name. Click Go to Trezor Suite to start using your device. Let's now explore how to receive coins on your new wallet. In the Trezor Suite, choose the cryptocurrency you want to receive. For example, let's choose Solana. Click Receive Sol, then hit Show Full Address. Verify the address on your device to ensure it matches what you see in Trezor Suite. If everything checks out, swipe up and tap to confirm. Then copy the address from Trezor Suite and share it with the sender. Once the coins are received, your portfolio balance will update. You'll see your Solana tokens listed under the Token tab. Now let's send some coins. I'll be sending my USDC. To do this, choose the asset and click the Send button. Then paste the recipient's address. When sending stablecoins like I am, make sure you send Solana stablecoins to a Solana address, otherwise your funds will be lost. Select the amount you want to send or toggle Send Max if you want to send everything. Review the fee and total, then hit the Review and Send button. On your Trezor Say 5, carefully verify the recipient's address and the amount. Once you've confirmed everything, sign the transaction by holding the button. After that, click Send on your Trezor Suite to complete the transaction. Congratulations, you've successfully sent your coins! Before I wrap up, I just want to say that from the packaging to the materials, the Trezor Safe 5 really feels like a high quality premium wallet. It's simple, secure and it's the wallet I personally use and highly recommend to all my friends. I hope you guys found this video helpful. As always, be sure to check out the Crypto Snake deals page for the best discounts on crypto products. Use the official Trezor link with my referral in the description for the best price currently available. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see, see you next time. time. I'ma keep it a stack. People died in my town, really just wanted me to react Perseverance ain't what I lack Haters see you've got potential, then they've got something against you Always having a opinion and hoping that it offends you I just